Okay, welcome back. Um, let's make a strafe of right 45 degrees this time here. Yeah? And then you guys can do the strafe left 45 degrees yourself. The approach is going to be completely the same. Um, so this time we want to start off using the walk backwards animation. So instead of using the walk forward, we're going to start off by using the walk backwards. So from with this one selected, create a new take and say yes to copy from the current take. And we'll rename this to strafe uh, right 45 or right back 45. So strafe right, it's going to be back 45. It's going to be that direction, I believe. Um, so let's start off by activating the control rig. Select your reference, and then turning him. Oops, it's going to be this one, this direction. Sorry. Um, yeah. So turn him like minus 45 degrees. Just readjust here, new animation layer, and set a key. Switch to uh, the chest end effector, and then turn him a little bit around. I like minus five, looks pretty good to me, so set a key. And this, the right foot is planted, so I'm just going to turn that just slightly, like that. Find the other foot where it's planted here, and also turn that just a little bit like that. So select both layers, merge, and plot the character to the skeleton, or to the control rig to the skeleton. And then we have the walk strafe right back 45 degrees. So export that, or you want to select the root, select branches, and motion file export. So let's call this strafe right back 45 degrees. Selected models only, and select that one. I just realized this only took me like three minutes, so I might as well just do the, the other one as well. So select the left backwards, active, and create a new take. Yes. And like this. So I'm not going to say too much about this. This is very repetitive. It's generally the same I do just over and over. and then plot it to the skeleton and then we're ready to export it Okay, uh, that was it. Um, before I end the video, let me just import those animation. Might just do that now. Um, so we have the right back and the left back. So these two. Import. And let's also add them to the blend space. 
So the left back is going to be here and the right back is going to be here. So now we have a blend space looking, well, when you're moving the mouse around like this, it looks correct. So we're going to take a look at how this behaves uh, once we start up, start off by adding some logic to drive this blend space uh, in the next video. And then I hope I will be able to illustrate my point in video 11 with that extra um, strafe left and right 90 degree back animation I've been rambling about. Um, so stay tuned for that and see you in the next. Bye bye.